Hello guys, Martins here and welcome in another Photoshop tutorial. It's manipulation tutorial, I think it's very easy and simple. Something like emotional, maybe a little depressed manipulation. So in this tutorial I will teach you how to adjust two image and then how to make effect like this, this lightning effect, how to make colors and filters like this. So I hope you will be interested in. And for this manipulation, I use only two images. The first is model image. It's Feastalk from DeviantArt. Of course, I link her in the description. And the second image is pre-made background by Natalie First, also from DeviantArt, and I link it in the description. So at first I make the selection using pen tool, I select my model, I zoom it a little, And after that, click right and then make selection. And in rendering, set feather radius at 3 pixels. Then click selection tool, click right and click layer via copy. Okay, we get something like this. It's okay. But I think this image can be uh, too large for my background, so. I need to change image size to with 2500. Let's see. Then click move tool and drag it to uh, to our background. Okay, I think it looks it looks pretty okay. The size is is okay. If your edges uh, aren't perfect, you can make a small correction using uh, eraser tool. But I think I I do it pretty okay. And now I don't want these colors. I I want to add something like. Uh, blue, yellow, dark color. So I need to desaturate these images. I need to make it uh, black and white. So click this small icon and then click black and white. And okay, we get something like this. And now we need to add some colors, of course. So for this I use color balance. And in color balance, in mid-tones, I add about minus 40 for cyan and minus 20 for yellow. In highlights, also I add some cyan, but about minus 30 and yellow minus 20. And also, I add some magenta, minus 10. And I think it looks uh, nice on this image. And at the end, shadows. And at the end, shadows, I also add cyan at minus 30. And okay, I think it... I think my colors are quite uh, good right now. Of course, if you want, you can set different settings for your color balance, whatever you want. Of course, you can add uh, some shadow, but I think uh, it isn't necessary on this image. 
but now I want to use uh, burn tool. So create new layer above the model layer, then go to edit, fill, and content, set use 50% gray, and OK. Change blend mode to overlay. Then click, of course, burn tool. You can change exposure if you want. And burn your edges. Also, you can create new layer and add some uh, color black using a regular blush tool. But make it uh, under your uh, mother layer. And of course, you can change opacity because it can be too strong. I think for 70% is is uh, quite OK. Maybe even 60%. OK, now um, I decided to add some uh, Dutch tool here and here okay now I back to my background because I I want to add some uh, lightning effects and duplicate my background layer then then I make this a uh, little smaller go to filter render and lightning effects and I add some lights to my background I change intensity to 30 or 25 because it's too strong here we have my settings a hotspot is this uh, a small ring of course you can change the position of your lights uh, ambience is as you see here you have your ambience I think the 30 is uh, okay Colorize is the uh, color of your lights. You can change exposure of this. I think about 40 is okay. And when you do this, click OK. And now I think the background looks much better. Then create new layer. Select color white. Of course, create new layer. Uh, under your uh, model layer and select brush tool and I use this uh, I'm not sure what it is this uh, grunge brush or something I link it in the description of course and to load these brushes to your Photoshop click this small icon then click load brushes and find these brushes on your computer so i use this brush for example and okay if it's uh, too strong of course you can change opacity i change my opacity to 80 percent then create a new layer above all these model layers Uh, select uh, here, select color black and white, just like me. 
then go to filter render and click clouds then click image adjustments and go to levels and using this uh, And using these top tools and set similar settings uh, like me, uh, uh, 150 in the first box and in the second, uh, just one. Okay. Then again, go to filter, blur, and motion blur. Set angle about 70 or something like this and of course you should should be more than 1000 or about 1000 and okay now on this layer change blend mode to screen and as you see we get something like this uh, we get the slides uh, i think it's a very interesting effect I change uh, my blend mode on this brush layer to 70. I think uh, it's still too strong. And at the end, I want to uh, cross this image a little. So go to curves and do something like me. In RGB, a little down and a little up. To increase the contrast then in channel blue drag it up here and a little down something like this and okay it's all as you see it's very simple and the effect is very interesting. As I said, it's very emotional and maybe a little depressed, but I like this. But sometimes I like this type of manipulation, so I uh, hope you guys too. Well, thank you for watching. Uh, feel free to leave a comment, uh, to leave your opinion, uh, maybe some ideas for my next manipulation, and see you in the next Photoshop tutorial. Thank you.